Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Being the Change. I'm going to get started by reciting my inspiration. I have to sit back because I'm in so much pain. Um, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, oh God, I can't even say it. I'm going to start over again. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Mary M. Williamson. I'd like to say welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time and welcome back and thank you to everybody who has seen me before. I started this in 2019 as my New Year's resolution stating I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt, followed by a weekly video. And it was the first time in my life I ever told anybody out loud what my New Year's resolution was, and I was able to keep it. And then last year, 2020, was to be kinder and more compassionate to myself. And this year was to break up with sugar. So um, I can't even believe that not only do I have goals, I'm actually telling people what they are out loud. And it seems to help so much to have accountability, which is something that if I didn't say it out loud, I didn't have to hold myself to it. And neither did anybody else. So, um, you know, I quit sugar. My last day that I had sugar was January 3rd. So January 4th, I started this no sugar, no processed sugar. I did have chips the other day. I realized after they had processed sugar in them that I had them because they were sitting in front of me and, and I ate them. I didn't want more chips after I got done. It didn't trigger me, but like when I go out to eat with people and we're just talking and I have food in front of me, I just start picking and not just my food because I didn't order chips. I pick off of the person that I'm with. I start like wanting to shove food in my mouth. So that is something that is normal for me. It's hard for me when food is sitting there not to touch it even when I'm full. So this whole like eating, not eating, I never learned how to eat properly, but I know how to not do it correctly. So I'm unlearning. And, you know, today, right now, I'm in so much physical pain. And when I'm in this kind of pain, this is like, this is what chronic pain looks like. Like I, I had to go to the bank this morning to drop off financial papers to defer my mortgage because I have no way to pay my bills right now. I um, applied for social security disability a year and a half ago and I'm still waiting. 
and I'm on my third attorney for my lawsuit, which I'm so grateful for my new attorney. I just love her and want to be friends with her. But so I, I went to Philadelphia because I'm in Pennsylvania. So I drove to Philly and back and I stopped at the grocery store on the way home and by it's like 430 and I have to lay down like I can't even sit up. But if you saw me out this morning, like I look normal. I look fine. So this is the face of a disability and chronic pain. And sometimes I look fine and normal. And other times I like hurt so bad that I'm going to have to go rest after this. And um, it's almost like because I did a lot today, it gives me permission to go rest. And I feel guilty if I just rest. And I want to share with you guys because this happened to me yesterday. I had such a physical job. I was a hair colorist, hairdresser for over 25 years, and it started to take such a toll on me physically that when I don't physically move, I feel like I'm not working. So yesterday I had a procedure done. I had this some kind of medial branch block to see if they could help my thoracic spine. So I had this branch block and I had to rest all day. So it was like permission to rest. And I listened to stuff all day, all this information. And, and I felt like I didn't do anything. And you know what came to me? Maybe work is not supposed to feel like I'm doing something. Like I always associated work with, I have to be exhausted. I have to like hurt physically in order to do it. I have to keep moving. And yesterday I received a lot of information by listening to it, just sitting in my chair, but I feel like this isn't really work. And then what came to me is maybe this is what work is supposed to feel like. It's supposed to feel like it's not really work. And maybe what I had in my mind as of work and a job of what it was supposed to be was wrong and backwards. Like I had to give myself permission to rest after I was so physically exhausted and drained from it. And like, I hate that it makes me feel guilty, but this is also, I just want to show you guys that I don't feel good all day, every day, but some days I have really good days. And then I have other times when I'm like, holy shit, I am not well. And giving myself permission to heal and to take care of myself is one of the hardest things. I always grew up believing my mom had depression and I didn't know it. I grew up believing that she was lazy and I never wanted to be lazy and I never wanted to be like her. And um, I feel lazy and um, I'm working through it. It's such a process, but I just wanted to show you guys like where I am. And this is the face of chronic pain. And I had a great morning this morning and today I don't feel good anymore. So I'm going to go lay down and rest after this. So thanks to everybody who's watching me, who's supported me on this journey. Um, I'm just showing you what my normal's like and my normal is abnormal slash normal. So um, stay tuned. I'll see you all next week.